guys, it is time for part two of how to make your own thumbnails. So this is what I came up with. This is the thumbnail that I did, and I added another emoji, and I finished my words. And now I'm going to show you guys how to upload it onto YouTube, and then I'm going to show you guys how to download your own font on your computer. And once it's basically on your computer, you can use it anywhere. Um, so yeah, what you do is go to your videos. I don't know why that's showing, but it. Okay, well. Where's video editor? Video editor. How do you get to video editor? Video editor. Edit. Here we go. So what you do is go it's not what I mean. Video manager, that's what I meant. Okay. So if your video is not on your channel, this is what I'm going to do because for whatever reason. Oh, it's right here. It's okay. Well, edit. Um, make your own MSP thumbnail, custom thumbnail. Okay, so what you guys, I'm going to actually show you guys how to get here from the beginning because you probably don't have to know. So, so I'm going to. I had a teacher that was like that. Hold on. Hold on. So let me just make this video. Okay, so what you do is you go to wherever you put, upload the video unless your video is already on your channel. Because if it's already on your channel, it'll be a little bit easier. Um, mine just got uploaded, as you guys can tell. I try to do this as fast as I could. Um, but I didn't believe my thumbnail was made before. So you go to your video. I'll make it's new, Lisa. You go to your video, or if your video isn't on your channel, what you could do to get to the video manager is you could click on upload video and from upload video you go to video editor or you can go um yeah go to video editor and then it's going to take you here and don't flip out and think oh i'm not i'm not going to edit the video trust me they're not go over here to video manager and just click on video manager itself and it'll show you a list of all your videos, and if your, your video is currently in the process of being uploaded, it will be right here. Click on, I think it's the arrow. Now click on edit. From edit, you're going to go to custom thumbnail. And then you can upload your own freaking thumbnail, which I'm about to do right now. I'm so excited. Yes, yes, yes. This is my first ever thumbnail on this video you guys you guys have no idea and then this is also where you can go to edit your description and your thumbnail so if you fuck something up or if you promise for the years link is link is gonna be in the description but you record this gonna be cast dramatic you can edit it all changes are saved Let's go to my channel and see if it shows my new beautiful thumbnail. Hmm? Ah, it does! Ah! Okay, on to part two. How to download and install your own font. Um, this is how I did my emojis. In case you guys are wondering, you just type in emojis transparent or transparent emojis and a bunch of them will pop up. And I'll show you guys how to do that in a second. It's basically the same thing. Like, just download it and then open it up. This is, like, I'll show you in a second, basically. Um, what you do is, so for the font, we're doing the font right now. I should have closed this. We're doing the font. You're going to go to a website called The Font. Dot com and this font has this website has a shit ton of font like a shit ton and this is actually where I got my font that I'm actually starting to fall in love with um hold on hold on hold on I need to have this shit like out here like can I have it like right here first can I that can I like pin this to like no okay cool yeah so this is a font that I actually fell in love with. Um, I saw a YouTuber using it, and I'm like, that is the coolest font I've ever seen. Let me make it a little bigger. And so I was like, I want to try it, so I downloaded it. And 
and it's just a really cool font. It is called Blacklisted, in case you guys are wondering if you want to download the font yourself. You can just type in right here, Blacklisted, and it should pop up. Pop up. If not, you can always Google it, and it'll come up as soon as you it's Blacklisted. It is amazing. But if you don't want Blacklisted and you want like your own font, you don't want it copied, um, just, um, and it even shows you guys how to do this on a computer. So I'm going to just do a random font. Let me just do like a random font. Like, just work. That's what Blacklist is. I'm just going to do a random one because I said this. I'm going to do Porky's. So what you do is you just get, click on download right here. And then if you're on Chrome like I am, it just will come up in the bottom. If you're not, just don't know what to do. Always open or open, whatever. Um, and then it'll open or it should open. And then what you're going to do, this is kind of where it gets tricky, but if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing. It'll show you what the font looks like in like different sizes, and then just click on it and install. And then I, I don't know what the second one was. I noticed that there was like another one. I don't know what that is, but that the same thing. Oh, Porky's heavy. And the other one is like Porky's what? Porky and Porky's heavy. Okay. So I'm installing both types of font. I didn't even realize that there was a difference. I guess for maybe the... And then... Once it's done being installed, you can exit everything out. And then what I do is I go to Notepad, and I go to Format, Font, and just go down to the where you can type in, I think it's... Is it Porky's? Yeah. Porky's. As you can see, it's there. Okay. And this is actually really funny because the writing is all messed up. So that's how you can download and install your own font. Font's one of my favorite things. And that actually comes in handy because in case you guys didn't know, when you make your YouTube uh, thumbnails, your text, you can do text that you have on your computer that's looking on yours. Which is how I'm able to use my blacklist. And um, I don't know if it's on here right now. Probably not. Because I just added it. Yeah, I, I don't think it is on here. It won't be on here. Um, but Porky will be on there next time. And, um, yeah, so now, how to add emojis to your thumbnail. So, this YouTuber that I watched did not do Show you guys how to do this. So, I will show you guys how to do this. Let's exit out of the font. And we're going to go open up a random Google page, and we're just going to type in transparent, trans, parent, emojis, and I can't even see what I'm typing, so if I misspell something, do not judge. Um, and then here is a bunch of emojis, and click on them and make sure they're transparent, because let me tell you, if they're not, you're going to have to make them transparent, which isn't hard, you just do the same thing that you do on your MSP character with one pixel, so don't stress out. But I like to do the ones that have the white around them because those ones are already transparent and it's really, really easy to add because you just save it out. You don't have to like make it transparent and do all that work. But if you see an emoji you like and it's not transparent, you know, just make it transparent. Um, And of course, there's going to be like other emojis. That's actually really cute. And then, yeah. So. 
to do the laughing emoji. Oh yeah, the cool emoji. The cool emoji. So you would basically, right, you can either click on the picture, I recommend typing on it because I feel like if you don't, you just get the tiny picture. Right click. I cannot this it up. Right click and save the image at whatever you want to save it as. I'm just going to do the cool emoji. Save. You'll be there. You don't have to have this bar underneath you. I don't know why Chrome does that. And then go to your editor or whatever. And go to just basically keep it safe area where you add all your other stuff. Go to the butterfly, click on it, add your own, my computer, and it's going to pop up all of your transparent stuff. And just click on the emoji that you added and click open. And then it'll pop up really, really freaking big. But you just basically edit it and scale it and make it big or tiny, whatever you want. And to me, this is actually really cool because I love emojis, and this could actually come in handy someday. So, yeah, that is how you download your own font for your thumbnails, how you add emojis, basically how to make your own thumbnails. So, yeah, you guys are like welcome. You are like welcome. So I'm gonna exit this out. It's pretty much saved. I don't need. Um, I have it on my computer. It's fine. Like I have it on my computer. You guys know now. Um. Now time for the shout out. Oh no, one more thing that I have to show you guys is how to make your font like glittery, sparkly, or whatever you want. So hold on. So what you're going to do is find a glitter thing that you like on Google. I'm just going to do a random one and hopefully it works. I like this one. So once again, save image as glitter. Now, once you have your glitter, we're going to go to Click Monkey. I'm going to pause this because I'm running out of time. Okay, first of all, ignore this little thing right here. This is nothing. I'm just using this because it's white. What you're going to do is go to your text and choose the font that you want. I recommend choosing a font that you think look good in glitter. Don't do something. I'm just going to do something random because I honestly do not know what we're going to do. Let's just do this one. Add text. And we can say glitter. And I'm going to just zoom in. And I probably didn't crop this so that way that shit is on, but I should have cropped that in the first place. But I'm a dumbass, as you guys. So, crop, apply, there we go. What you do is you go to overlays, I might have to pause this, so go to overlay, click add your own, click on your glitter one, go to blend modes, and go all the way down to lighten, and bam. Glitter font. How do you like them apples? So there you have it, you guys. Now you guys have so many tips and tricks on how to make your own thumbnails. I'm going to be making my own thumbnails now. And I'm really excited because this is so easy. And I can do this from my laptop, which I love. Um, so I'm very excited about that. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. And 